I recently installed a BBS HD mid-drive motor to my mountain bike. Everything's been great about it, except for that there's one pedal assist mode that doesn't work, as it should. And that is the pedal assist zero. All uh, other pedal assist modes have thumb throttle override, except for the pedal assist zero. This is the main reason I'm reprogramming my BBS HD. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this and go over some of the other uh, adjustable parameters. The things you'll need. A programming cable like this one. I bought mine from here, but you can buy them elsewhere like LunaCycle, Bike Tricks, or even AliExpress. And you'll also need a Windows laptop or desktop if you don't mind parking your bike next to it as the cables aren't very long. Finally, you'll need the programming software. I chose to use the Bafang config tool modified by Penoff, downloaded from here. Now before I continue, I want to note that reprogramming your Bafang controller may void your warranty and cause you to fry your controller. First you want to disconnect the display from the wire harness and connect the programming cable to the wire harness. Then turn on your computer and plug in the programming cable to an open USB port. Unzip the programming software to somewhere like your desktop and then run the, the fan config tool. And hopefully you'll see a COM port indicated here. Click connect and you should be able to see your controller info. Click on read flash and you'll see the current programming settings loaded in your controller. It would be a good idea to now save these stock settings onto your computer in case you screw something up. If all you want to do is enable thumb throttle control while in pedal assist zero, change assist zero's current limit and speed limit to one. Then click on the throttle handle and change the uh, designated assist level to something between 1 to 9. This will dictate how much power you will have available when using the throttle. Be careful. Setting this too high and starting in too high of a gear or too low a speed may cause something to break. In my, I set mine to 9 and only use the throttle once I get moving. If you're not sure, then I suggest setting it to 5. Click right and then disconnect. Disconnect the programming cable and then reconnect your display. Turn your bike on and you'll be ready to go. Now let's go over the other settings. We will start with the basic tab. On top we have the low voltage protection. It basically cuts off the power of your motor when the voltage of the battery reaches the specified amount. This will prevent over discharge of your battery. So if you have a 48 volt lithium ion battery, it should be set at 41 volts. And if you have a 52 volt lithium ion battery, it should be set at 44 volts. Next we have the current limit. The controller uses a current sensor to monitor the amount of current going to the motor. And based on what the current limit is set at, it will prevent any more current reaching the motor. This is also limits your peak power. My BBS HD uses a 30 amp rated speed controller. Therefore my current limit is set at 30 amps. If you have a BBS O2, then you should have it set at 25 amps. Do not set the current limit higher than the rated current of your speed controller, as you may fry your controller. Although you can set it lower if you like. Next are three columns. Assist level, current limit, and speed limit. Assist level ranges from 0 to 9 and is equal to the pedal assist level on your display. Assist 0 is basically no pedal assist or throttle control. And if you change the settings like I did earlier, then you will have throttle control. In assist levels 1 to 9, Active pedal assist and throttle control are active. The current limit is a percentage of the maximum current limit depending on the assist level. So say if I was in pedal assist 5, I would have a maximum current of 15 amps because that is 50% of 30 amps. The speed limit is a percentage of the maximum speed set by either the pedal assist or throttle tabs. And then now we have the speed meter type. All Bafang motors use external wheel speed sensors as far as I know so it's best not to change it. Speed meter signals is basically how many magnets you have on your wheel that interact with the speed sensor. In most cases, it'll be one. The wheel diameter should equal to what rim size the speed sensor is reading off of. At the bottom, we have a read and write button. If you click either, it will only read or write the settings that are in the open tab. To the right of these buttons, we have a read flash and write flash. 
These buttons will read or write all of the settings in all of the tabs. Now for the next two tabs, I will only go through what I think is important. And I suggest you leave most of the settings in these tabs alone, as they will already be optimal. Now on to the Pedal Assist tab. Pedal Sensor Type should be left alone. Designated Assist Level should be set to By Displays Command, unless you want to be always fixed at a certain assist level. Speed Limit. I will set it to Displays Command. Because most displays can set the limit to at least 40 kilometers, and some could even set to 99 kilometers. Your actual speed limit while using pedal assist will depend on what pedal assist speed limit you have set in the basics tab. For example, you're on pedal assist 5 and the speed limit is set to 50%. And the display's speed limit is at 40 km an hour. So now you have a top speed of 20 km an hour in assist level 5. These next items I will skip as they feel they are already optimal. So now we'll go on to the throttle handle tab. Start voltage and end voltage should be left at factory settings, as long as you're using the original throttle handle or lever. Mode. It is best set to current, so the power output feels much more natural, similar to the relation of a car's throttle and its power output when accelerating. If you have it set to speed, then the throttle handle position will determine the top speed. This is kind of like driving a car only using the cruise control levers to accelerate. It'll be very laggy. Designated assist level. I leave mine set to 9, but you can set it to any assist level you like. But I caution you, if you have it set too high or traveling too slow a speed and at a too high of gear, you might break something. Speed limit. It is the maximum speed you can go using the throttle only. I leave mine set to display's command, so I can go as fast as the max speed set by my display. Skipping the start current brings us to the end. Remember to save the original settings before modifying them. I hope you learned something from this. If you have, give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos, subscribe and check out my playlists. Thank you for watching and I hope you see you in the next one. Bye.